Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hot and welcome back to Factorio. I have been standing around here to collect a few speed modules 3, uh, also some productivity modules 3, which are just down here. And uh, these in there. And today we will start on a big project and in fact it's so big uh, let's remove that that we will not be able to fit it in one square so I think what we need is double up combine four squares to get an even bigger square and probably this will happen down here um, there it fits nicely and if you were wondering what that will be well it's the rocket silo and if we launch rockets we need to produce everything that we need for that on site so that means low density structures uh, rocket fuel, uh, rocket control units, and satellites. And that's quite a bit uh, that, that we need. Um, and we still have to figure out the, uh, the quantities um, and the, the ratios. So let's add everything in here that we need. Um, that and then this. So here we can break this down, right? And that and this wants to go up, this also wants to go up, um, and here, here we probably want to produce that out of petroleum, because uh, we have the, the petroleum we can everything, we can refine all oils to petroleum, but not to, to light oil. We always have some leftover petroleum. So, that's that. And here we will need that, and we will have to move that up a bit. One more. So, what we want to have here is let's say we want to have one of each. Um, and see where we end up with with that. Oh yeah, and we probably have to break this further down. And then iron, copper, okay. So one per second, that means for a, a, a rocket pot, we need 10 of each. So every 10 seconds, we can have a rocket pot. 
uh, which means every hundred seconds, no, every thousand seconds, we need a uh, uh, satellite. So that would then be zero, zero, one. We need here, and that should give us the, the total numbers. So here we probably want to really use the best assembly machines where we have them to reduce the amount. of assembly machines that we need. Everywhere where we have more than one blue assembly machine, uh, we replace it with the assembly machines three. Right, and then hundred sixty furnaces. That's just not gonna happen. So we have this set up here, and all those are let out in a in a way that allows us to place beacons on either side. So we can have productivity in here and speed um, around. The question, however, is we need big amounts. So that's basically a hundred per second. Um, and that's more than three red belts. So we will have three arrays, uh, at least of, um, of for, for copper. We will have two for iron and so on. And probably we can bring the, the numbers down by having beacons. And we have to figure out how many beacons we can actually place uh, in a setup like this. And to do that, I'll craft some and then uh, uh, copy some in so we can have an uh, approximation of uh, beacons that that we we will actually get out of this so Right, so we would have this one would affect three furnaces. So basically per furnace we can have say we have three beacons. Well, let's set this up um, beacons with three and we have three beacons for it
Oh, it's here. Three beacons, and that brings the, the number down. And then we have productivity. And now we are at 60. does not add much but let's go with this pattern um, because um, we will need uh, here at the at the corner of our furnace array uh, this one is only affected by two so we need a bit more uh, out of it than uh, uh, what we can actually get so that's that and then this one let's bring that down to the uh, auto furnaces Again, three and there. And then in here, I think we will just have speed modules. What if we have it like this this brings down the amount slightly but it also brings down the amount of copper that we need which is a good thing so here again speed and then here productivity and speed and we will do that for all and then oh yeah also, this one should be below here, this one as well, so we have the, the right numbers, uh, we need the gears made out of iron. Here, for satellites, we, we need a so low amount that it does not really add anything to add productivity or, or speed. So let me focus on, uh, on the ones where we have multiple uh, assembly machines and see where we end up. In preparation for that build, we need one more thing, and that's uh, beacons. Well, let's set this this up here. I also need copper wire, if we can get from here. 
and then have an output going there. That's for beacons only. And let's craft a hundred. So in the meantime, I did all the hard work. I realized uh, on the uh, assembly machine three, we can add four uh, modules. Uh, and if we fill that up, that then basically brings down the number of furnaces that we need to, to 24, which would be feasible to have in one line. But looking at the output, uh, input and output are over 30, so that's more than a red belt. So we probably will split it in, um, in two arrays of uh, 12. And then we can have uh, the optimal output for copper. Here for iron, uh, we can do it in, in one go and of course for, for everything else. Um, but we still need a bit of, of preparation until we, we get there. Uh, also looking at the uh, ingredients, it's not that bad. We have uh, uh, copper, iron, coal, um, uh, petroleum gas, uh, sulfuric acid, and uh, new light oil and we do have one station that provides light oil and this one up here uh, also this is the the only train and let's see yeah we seem to have run full so that's why this station is not running uh, but Maybe in the future we will have a dedicated uh, refinery set up that focuses on light oil and basically then has the uh, petroleum that we cannot convert into, into light oil uh, as an output. So that's build this next part up here on this side here we go and stuck in the middle of the forest that get in here so here we also have a piece and this will basically leave this square open and we should have quite plenty of spaces to do input delivery and have um, one half side uh, still available for the for the output so I will let the um, the robots do their work with laying all the tracks around here uh, and then uh, as you might have already figured out from from the progressed time on on this on this uh, video and the lack of progress towards an actual uh, rocket silo this will be a, a multi-part um, setup where slowly but surely we will get to the point uh, where we can have that rocket and I think over here in this corner yes here we will have um, another uh, um, radar so every second roundabout we have 
uh, a radar station. Um, and yeah, the, actually the square is already done. It's just these uh, outgoing uh, tracks that we are missing. And soon I will run out of, of rails. But I will finish that and then maybe uh, as, a, as a final piece for uh, today uh, we can see about the uh, train stations uh, and, and where we will have them. Guess what? In order to have a proper factory in here we probably should clear out uh, anything uh, that obstructs the, the clear view here uh, by doing this, getting rid of the, the trees or letting the, the robots do that and while they are occupied I can do a bit of firework here to get rid of the cliffs that are also in there. Is that all? Yeah, that was all the, the, oh no. No, that's a rock. Cliffs are gone, but there are still a ton of trees. Um, so I will remove those and then we can start the next episode with figuring out uh, where train stations go, uh, how to do the smelting in a beaconized way and just see how far we can progress in the second part of this multi-part series. Until then, goodbye!